Hello, great to have you with us. The weather has cooperated. Terrific here at Elland Road for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leeds United facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. Number one, Ilian Melier. Number five, Robin Cook. Number six, Leon Cooper. Thank you, Ellen Road. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. An unforced error, you've got to say. Erling Haaland. Rodrigo, a glorious chance. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Gundogan. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. Let's see about the delivery. Struggling to get it away. Gundogan, terrific block. And winning it back. It's a promising City move. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, the referee decides not to reach for his pocket at this early stage. Well, I thought he might book him there, but in the end, I think he's got that right. And a long way out. All fairly run of the mill in terms of what the keeper had to do. Brendan Aronson. And City coming away with it. He has teammates around him. Intelligent threaded pass here. And there it is, the opening goal, 1 0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, let's move.
look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well though. Lots of pace, lots of power and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equaliser having conceded? Went in strongly, decisively. Can he find the right pass? Holland. Oh, he's gone for goal. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort, just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. Leeds recovering possession well. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had much less of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Holland. Tremendous ball played through. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Strauch, he's found a pocket of space. Rodrigo, and a body in the way. There's a slide draw pass. Oh, could be a chance. Terrific save. Has a go. Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. Christensen. Adams. And City have possession once more. Jack Grealish. And teammates around him. Grealish. Now Gundogan. And no worries for the goalkeeper. And that is going to be all for the first 45 here at Elland Road. Well, they've really done a good job of keeping Phil Foden quiet, and that's no easy task, is it? Yeah, their passing hasn't been great, but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. 
Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Brendan Aronson. Rodrigo. Fine work from City to win the ball back. He's in with a chance. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. He's driven in the corner. And he's dispatched the header. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Underway again, it's a narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. A running room in the wide position, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Can they keep it going? Holland. Electing to cross into the centre. And he's clear his lines. Well, how close was that? Inches away. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Substitution for Leeds United. Coming off the pitch. Number 10 for St. Flo Somerville. To be replaced by number 43, Matthias Cliff. And they need to get tighter. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a goal to level this contest. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So, underway again at 2 all. Coming off the pitch, number 19, Rodrigo, to be replaced by... Chance to attack using width. Can he play it in? Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Grealish.
Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. De Bruyne. And nearly extending the lead. Well, it wasn't quite the finish he was looking for. He just couldn't quite keep it on target. Substitution for Manchester A change in the offing for City. Number eight, Ilkay Gundogan. Coming onto the pitch. Number 20. Bernardo Silva. Well, he's given us away. Christensen. Can they create something from here? And simple for the keeper. Walker, showing excellent vision. Erling Haaland! Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. De Bruyne. And in with a real chance. And striking the crossbar. But the decision is offside here. And that was a very fine read. Can he finish them off? Can they slot it home? And thumped away. Well, that save has just about kept them in it. But they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. A wonderful goalkeeping moment. Now, will he be put to the test again here? Bernardo Silva. Grealish. He's in behind. Tremendous block. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Put in by De Bruyne. It might still be problematic. Wonderful block. Chance for Bernardo Silva. Superb stop. That's what you call defending from the front. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Adams. Aronson. Luis Sinisterra. Takes the shot. And pushed away to safety. It'll be a corner.
Who can he pick out? And an effective clearance. And that is that full time here and a win for City. Your verdict? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, many will regard him as the complete midfield player, Kevin De Bruyne. And how do you shackle him? It's well nigh impossible, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.